Hi, it's Melissa here, and today I have a layout that I made with my um, August Clip Kit Rio, and this is one of those kits that is so stinking beautiful that you can't even cut into it, and that's how I felt anyway. So I almost had to force myself. It features the Fancy Pants Millie and June collection, and it also has some Coco Vanilla Studio Life and Colour. And um, I've just been staring at the kit, <laughs> being really intimidated by how amazing it is and um, I had this photo of Brielle that I'd taken at the park and it was just the back of her little strawberry shortcake hat or it's not strawberry shortcake I call it strawberry shortcake it's a hat with strawberries on it and I just love um, how her hair looks in the sunshine and so I actually took this photo on purpose to be able to scrap it so I wanted to feature some of my favorite papers in the kit and I also wanted to not use a cut file and not do any hand stitching because I've been doing a lot of that lately. And I um, wanted to go back to, I guess, before I had a silhouette cameo, I, I couldn't do any cut files. I could do manual die cuts. But I really wanted to just, um, I suppose, go back to my original style in a way. Um, but probably... Um, how do I explain this? Go back to what I always did, but in the way that I scrap now. So that's what I've done with this one. And I um, originally I wanted to do some fringe, and I wanted to do fringe in the corner featuring three of the papers, but I had a bit of trouble <clears throat> excuse me, getting my head around how I was going to do the corners or the edges of the fringe. So in the end I decided I love these papers so much, they just look so pretty lined up together, and I wanted to feature them, and I thought, oh, machine stitch them down so what I just did there was um, I worked out with my roller and pen the dimensions I was going to have for these papers <clears throat> I didn't make them all the same I just um, made sure that my lines were straight so that when I cut them in my trimmer they would look even and so now I'm just putting a bit of double-sided tape in the middle of them and adhering them down and then um, I was going to trim them with scissors but because I haven't stitched, I don't want to stitch until I've got a straight edge. And so in the end, it was easier just to use my trimmer to get rid of that excess because the edges were floating, if you get what I mean. What I mean is they weren't stuck down right to the edge. So I've um, also using some white cardstock because that's a good way to stretch your kit. And I found with this photo, I think because of the red tones, that um, I originally had put it on that pink paper and got a second opinion from my husband and it was just a bit too much for the photo so I'm loving the way this one um, is looking with the white cardstock added some gold highly swap colour shine and I'm really sorry but you know when you press record on your camera and you think that it's recording but it's actually not well that's what happened but all you've missed is me adhering my photo and then that little cut apart card to the left that's from a, an add-on to the kit with some cocoa vanilla. Um, it's a pack of cut parts. It's really amazing. There's so much in there, and you get little words and everything. So that's what that is. And I love the, um, the font, and I love the watercolour look, and I love what it says, you are my sun, my moon, and all of my stars. So now I'm up to my favourite part, which is embellishing. And I just went through the full ephemera pack from the Million June collection, pulled out the bits that I thought were going to work and one thing I have done is um, I used to get so fixated on American spelling not being the same as here in New Zealand we have the same spelling as British spelling and it says mommy's little girl and you know we don't say mom we say mum but you know what it doesn't matter it's, I'm just going to roll with it because it, it works and it has the same meaning so these are some enamel shapes and dots, and they are just perfect. Um, and what I love about this kit is you get a sheet of the um, Millie and June bows, and so you punch them out. And I'm sorry, I'm still not very aware of um, making things on camera, but um, you just punch them out and make them. I've actually got a die that does the same thing, but um, <clears throat> these are so handy. So you get a whole lot of different sizes from one sheet. I really, really, really wanted to use this bow. So, apologise about the light before it's um, winter here still, or nearly spring. So the light isn't great, so I um, started this again the next day. So that's why the light is suddenly better. 
So I decided on the position of my bow, and now I'm just writing my journaling, and I'm actually saying that of all our three kids, she's the only one that's really kept a sun hat on. Well, the other two would just pull them off all the time. So that is my layout. The only other things I added were, added that love wood veneer, and I just used some gold stamping ink to colour it gold. And I think, yeah, aside from the machine stitching, that's it. So I hope you enjoyed it, and now that I've cut in to this kit, I will be more able to make some more layouts. Have an awesome day.